what's going on guys so I know it's been a while since I posted a video um, my girlfriend and I were in Pukwak which is an island nearby um, I did try fishing there um, on both sides of the island didn't have much luck it rained a lot so it was quite intense um, so I didn't see a point in posting that video and now we've been back for um, a couple of days so I've been a bit busy trying to catch up on work and whatnot, um, but we are out here today, as you can see behind me, um, hoping it's not going to rain, I see there's a lot of clouds coming in, um, but I've got a couple hours here, so today I'm going to be fishing with three different things, so we're going to try sausage, bacon, and shrimp, so I've got these three things with me. Um, I'm going to use three rods cast in pretty much the same direction. I'm not going to put them on top of each other, but um, yeah, relatively cast in the same area and then use the same pretty much line strength, same weights, same hooks. So we're going to do a test and see if one majorly outperforms the other or if all of them suck or if all of them are great. So. I think it'll be cool. I haven't fished with shrimp in fresh water here before. Um, I don't think I've ever fished with shrimp in fresh water. So that'll be an interesting one. But then again, I haven't used bacon either or sausage. So yeah, we'll just have to see what happens. All right guys, so I've got all three rods rigged up. Now just for the bait. I'm gonna get them all baited up so that I can cast them more or less at the same time. So these are our shrimp. Already, already used some at the sea and refroze them. So they are defrosted now mostly. Little shrimp. So what rod are we gonna put this on? I think these we're gonna put onto our smaller rod. Actually, let's do it on this one. Let's go for it. So this one is a slightly different trace from the others. I had this already made up, um, but I think it'll work better with the shrimp. Just give the shrimp, I suppose, a little bit of an advantage. But let's see what we can do. Slide this guy up a little bit. And there we go. Shrimp with a nice proud hook. So we'll just lie this down for now so that we can get our other ones baited up. Okay, shrimp check. Let's have a look what we got. Okay, so we got some cheap sausages, which are quite gross. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is just break this. I forgot to bring a knife. I'm gonna break that, and then that's gonna go on here. So we're just gonna, I don't actually know, I've never rigged a sausage. Um, it feels a lot tougher at the back because of the skin. Um, you know, so let's see, maybe just like that. I don't lie, that feels really sturdy. And I know this is a pretty big bait, but at this place, there are really big paku, nice size catfish, um, and we fished with much bigger baits and caught nice fish out of here. So, trust me, it's not an issue. We'll even catch like really baby paku on something that size. And then, last but not least, the bacon. So I just packed a few sort of slices of bacon in here. Let's see. Maybe if we do about that much, maybe fold it a little, and, oh god, I'm already hooking myself. Okay, so I'm gonna thread this around like that, sort of pull it through, and then go back in from another side, just like that. And then one final one that way. 
and then I'll break this excess off and we can use that for the next one. Okay, let me just grab my hand wiping towel, wherever it is. There it is. So, let's go for it. I'm gonna do it. What order should I do it in? I think I'm gonna go sausage, bacon, shrimp. Okay, from left to right, so that's how we'll remember. Sausage, bacon, shrimp. So, I'm gonna cast these pretty much straight out. Right, so we got our sausage ready for casting. I'm sorry about the audio. I thought I had my mic with me, but it's not in my bag. I saw wires in my bag and thought it was the mic because that's where I left it. But I think my girlfriend might have used it for something with her teaching. Um, okay, we're gonna let this lie right there. I didn't want to cast it too hard. Yeah, so this audio is just gonna have to do, the wires I saw were actually my earphones. Okay, what did we say? Pork, bacon, shrimp, eh? I haven't even tightened my handle yet. Okay, bacon is out. I like that there. And finally, the shrimp. So let's give this guy a go. So there we go. All three of our baits are successfully out. I don't think any of them came off the hook. I did feel to make sure they were quite sturdy and then they didn't seem to have any problem going in. But there we go. We got sausages, bacon, shrimp. So we're just gonna see, cause these catfish give quite a noticeable bump on your line if they don't take it immediately. And the paku always take it immediately. They don't play around or anything. You will have a real run when you catch one of them. Oh guys, we just got a nice one on the bacon. Wasn't even in for a minute. This guy's going crazy. Whoa. This is a nice one, guys. On the bacon. Not even a minute in. He almost pulled my rod into the water. I literally had to dive for it. That's why I didn't have time to press the button or to record. Literally just screamed off. You guys won't believe what a crappy net I have either. <laughs> I'll be lucky to net it at all. My net broke a while ago. So I've got like a net without a handle. So I'm gonna have to try and, and want it to go into these branches. I also haven't got the strongest line on this reel. I suppose any of these reels. I used to have quite a lot stronger line on this because these are the fish I used to catch with this. But I've since changed setups to use this more for Barramundi. Oh, I see him. He's here. Okay, boys, we got him. Holy crap, it's a nice fish. Is he foul hooked? No, he can't be. No, he's not. Okay, 
Wish me luck, guys. It's slippery. It's just been raining. This is not the ideal netting situation. I was actually praying it would be a catfish so I didn't have to deal with this last minute fighting. Shaking. Oh, this is a big boy, guys. Oh, wasn't even hooked that well. Oh, look at those teeth. Holy crap. Beautiful on the bacon. Here you go, dude. Oh. Beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous fish. Let's get him back in the water. There he goes. Nice. Safe, quick release. Woo. That was absolute killer, man. the same amount of bacon again. Gonna put it on the same way. Thread it on and bring it back through near the end. There we go. Yeah, just in case you're wondering, that, that's why I'm using steel leaders, because those guys cut through thick line. I've lost so many of them when I was first catching them, like for the first time. I obviously didn't know about the teeth and all that, so I was literally just snapping off and I couldn't understand it. And then realised they were biting through the line, so changing steel traces was the best choice I've ever made. Okay, got to make this like extra loose. Don't need that rod going in. Okay guys, just got another nice pull on the shrimp. And this guy's not playing around. This is about five minutes later. Oh, oh God, he's trying to get under that building. Oh no, don't tell me it came off. Oh, it came off. That was a bigger one. Like, my fingers were literally burning from holding the spool. Oh. Okay, but we can count that just as well as the other one. Nice quick bite. Unfortunately, broke off with the shrimp. Damn. Well, it was literally like from there to there in like two seconds. That thing was so fast. Damn. Well, definitely bacon and shrimp, I would say, are on par with each other because, yeah, those are both good takes, good fish. And didn't take long at all. The sausage is still sitting down there. Um, hasn't been touched yet, but the rods have only been in for like couple minutes you know it's probably like I say that first one was within a minute and I was probably between five and ten minutes later I'll say closer to five minutes later and this one goes creaming off like that so yeah let's see if we can get another one and actually land it 
Jeez. So here we go guys, nice fresh shrimp, and these shrimp are quite solid, so they aren't coming off. Um, same place, let's let it sit there. And I'm going to give the sausage a few more minutes and then I'm going to, because like I say, it hasn't been long, but I will reel it up just to make sure there's still bait on it. Um, and then we'll see. I'm so bummed I lost that fish, man. That was like, that that could have been a PB. That, that it was it was huge. I can't explain it. I've never had my, I've never fished like this and had my fingers literally burn from the spool rubbing against it, trying to stop the spool from going, because it, it was it was going straight under that building, you know. So I had to try and stop it, or it was going to tangle me up on those pillars. And that would have been game over, so... Jeez, but I've seen so many fish, like there's one just moved around under the tree, but they have been so active since I got here, like they're jumping and just moving all over the place, so... It's a good test, good place to test and a good time to test. I don't know, maybe all this previous rain has them... You no, know, it's a couple of days after the rain, so they might be up and active now. That might be the reason, but yeah, let's keep going and hopefully we catch another one. So I'm gonna reel the sausage back in, see if it's still on there, and then put a fresh piece on. I wanna reel it in quite slowly just to see if it is still on. Don't wanna reel too fast and then it falls off. Oh, that could have been a problem. Well, it stayed on. Got a stick. Yeah, toss that in the water here. Something will eat that. And then sausage, fresh sausage. Okay, so I already broke this off. This is also one of the ends from a sausage because just stayed on really well and seems best. So let's grab this and toss it right back out. But to the left. Technically the sausage should have a bit of an advantage being more to the left. The fish are more concentrated on the left because it's closer to the restaurant. And they feed them at the restaurant. So the paku especially like to hang out there. As well as the catfish are usually right under this tree and around this tree area. So the sausage is closest to where I would think the fish are. Just had a little tug on the bacon, pulled a little bit of line. I don't think it would have taken the bacon off the hook because it was threaded on really well. Very confident in my threading abilities. Another good sign. Okay, I'm gonna rebate the bacon and the shrimp. Nothing came back to finish what finish off what it started. I think what they were might have been tilapia, because tilapia I'm sure would go for something like that, but the portions would definitely be too big. 
Yeah, shrimp's gone. Okay, let's rebate the shrimp. <coughs> Jeez, this is a big guy. Well, let's give it a go, why not? This is a nice one. Let's toss him out. Yeah, fresh shrimp. Bacon. Let's grill in our bacon. Okay, bacon is on. I think we're twisted. Yeah. If you're not sure, always check the end of your rod because I'd rather spend a few seconds checking than end up casting your trace off. Well, there we go. Bacon is in, shrimp is in, sausage is in. The game is back on. So far, we're tied with the shrimp and the bacon. So let's give it a go. Oh guys, we just had a nice pull on the shrimp. Damn. Well, not a nice pull. It didn't pull any line, but it pulled and I could just tell the shrimp came off. Shrimp is always good with like cotton, like stretchy cotton, I don't know what you call it. <sighs> But, don't get that here. I suppose we're not fishing in the sea, so... But come on, we gotta get the shrimp out there and catch another one on it. The shrimp is in the lead. Shrimp is definitely in the lead. One eternity later. Right guys, that's gonna have to be it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I stayed out a couple more hours after that last little bump and the fishing seems to have just died down. There's no more activity, got no more touches on the baits, nothing like that. When I reeled it in, most of the baits were still there, except for the sausage that had fallen off. Um, so yeah, I definitely think the shrimp worked flippin' well compared to what I thought it would. Um, the sausage worked a lot worse than what I thought it would. Didn't work at all. And then the bacon also did pretty well. I would say. So, yeah, quite surprising results, I'd say. Um, tomorrow I'll be out fishing again, so that'll be another video. And then I've decided I'm going to post the one from the island saltwater fishing that I did. Um, like I said, I didn't catch any fish, but it'll at least be there if you guys want to check it out. Um, it's still quite interesting, you know, still had a bit of fun and it's worth watching, so I'll post that and see you in the next one.